Hi everyone, this is Sarah with Pazaz.net and welcome to another installment of Curvy Conversations. Today I will be talking to Jasmine Elder, who is the designer behind the label Gibri. Gibri is dedicated to creating garments for the fashion conscious curvy woman. The label is a perfect combination of high fashion chic and urban street sleek in sizes 14 to 24. Gibri features a variation of punk innovation, classic construction and vintage inspiration. So Jasmine, I welcome you to Curvy Conversation and I'm very looking forward to our conversation today. Can you tell us a bit about Gibri? Is that how you pronounce it? Correct, it's Jibri. Okay, um, can you tell us a little bit about it and what what do you offer? How... Um, Jibri is uh, it's just a clothing line that's geared towards really fashionable plus size women, curvy women between the sizes of 14 and 24, well bigger, but my standard sizes are 14 to 24. It's a really vintage inspired line. Um, I really focus on dresses. I focus on fits. I work with a lot of quality fabrics, and that's basically what it is. Okay. Um, and when was the um, when was Jibri founded, and what was the inspiration behind it? I started Jibri in 2006, so it's been about four years. Okay. Um, the inspiration behind it, I've, like I've been making my own clothes for since I was a teenager, and um, I just realized once I couldn't actually sew anymore every single day because I was working that there really weren't the kind of clothes that I liked um, mm-hmm. available. So that's when I decided to go ahead and, you know, give a line a, a chance. Mm-hmm. Okay. So basically it was out of your own, um, uh, I should say, we can say frustration um, towards the lack of um, fashions available in, in your size? Oh, exactly. Exactly. Mm-hmm. So you're yourself plus size, so you understand, you know, um, uh, you know the difficulties plus size women find in, uh, when shopping and when to find clothes that fit and everything else. Exactly, definitely, mm-hmm. that's definitely been an issue. Um, my entire life, I've always had a particular look that I've always liked, and um, because I sold, I didn't really realize that it wasn't available for mm-hmm. many, many years. I even, I just thought maybe I'm the only person who likes to dress like this. Okay, and um. When I started shopping, you know, I always shop, but I shop for accessories and shoes and, you know, purses and things like that. I never really paid the clothes any attention. And then when I no, had to pay them attention, I was like, wow, mm-hmm. they don't have a lot. There's not a lot of options out here. You know, there's only one set of quality. There's one cut. There's this type of fit, and I don't like this. So mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, so what's, what's the inspiration behind your designs, do you think of, I don't know, see something in the street that inspires you, you read something that inspires you? Because they're very particular, as you said, they're vintage inspired, but um, how how do you get your muse to design? Well, um, I'm really inspired by vintage film and um, vintage music. I'm a major art fan, a major traveling fan, so I really look to the women from old cinema, because okay. I feel like, you know, those women were ladies, so to speak, even regardless of whatever was going on. They always had a particular look. They always looked so perfect to me. Mm-hmm. So um, vintage cinema is a major inspiration um, in my designs. Okay. I, I go for, like, the classic cut of a, the way a woman's body should be proportioned or a, the way a woman's body is really proportioned. Um, and that's, you know, the classic allegory. Mm-hmm. So that's, like, a major... Um, component in all of my designs. And why the name Gibri? Does it um, mean anything? Um, it's very particular. Um, Gibri was actually the the guy who taught me how to sew. Okay. When I was in high school, yeah. When I was in high school, I like I said, I used to make all of my clothes, and they were very like, costumey, if that makes any sense. I was very glittery and very mm-hmm. colorful. But I didn't really know how to sew, per se, at that time because I was, like, 13. And one of my friends had a guy who made clothes for her who owned a boutique in Atlanta, and his name was Jabri. And we became really good friends, and he taught me basically how to construct patterns and how to sew and just lots of different things that I still carry definitely with this line. And um, 
he passed away when I was when I went to college the first year I started university in eight at eighteen. And so I did I would name the line after him. Okay. Very very interesting. So it's like your your ode to the the person who taught you how to sew. Exactly. Mm-hmm. Um, uh, I've seen recently that you've come out with your latest collection. Can you tell us a bit more about the spring and summer collection that you've just come out with? Um, the spring and summer collections I did this time was it's called La Fleur, and along with vintage cinema, like I said, I'm also inspired by old music, and it's a song by Minnie Ripperton called La Fleur, mm-hmm. and she's talking about flowers and all these different aspects. You know, she sees it at the fair. She sees it at the beach. She sees all these different flowers. And I was listening to the song, and it just, you know, I thought that it was just so beautiful. So I wanted to bring some of the colors of different flowers into my collection, which I don't – I do a lot of colors, but this was one of the most colorful collections I've ever done. And um, because I was working a lot of ruffles and um, peplums and folds and things like that, I thought it kind of reminded me of petals. Mm-hmm. So I, it was a, just the flowers actually, mm-hmm. as corny it is, it actually was like a really main fresh Okay. Okay. Um, and are there any per- items or dresses in particular that you recommend um, ladies should have a look at that, um, you know, would be like the focal point of the collection? I'm sorry, repeat that one for me. Um, are there any particular items in in your collection that you would recommend um, that people look at? that are, um, you know, the focal point of the collection? Um, I would definitely say the Peplum Iris dress was one of my favorites. I think the structure on it is great. It's a really classic dress. Um, I did it in blue, like a lark blue, but it can be done in all different colors. I just think it's a great addition to any woman's wardrobe. Every woman I've seen you know, on, it just looks absolutely amazing on them. Also, the honeysuckle was another one that was really, really beautiful, and um, it was one of the first ones I made in this collection. So I think those those two in particular are my favorites mm-hmm. from this one. Although I love all of them, of course. Mm-hmm. And uh, you mentioned that you um, um, offer, the, you know, your clothes in the particular sizes. Um, do you offer also customized sizing, or not really? Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. That's one of that's one of the main um, things that I think makes any garment um, just the top notch is that if it fits properly. Okay. So because I'm, you know, the way my business is run at this point, I can take custom sizing so that it fits you perfectly. You know, although they recommend if you buy anything from the store, you should just get it altered to fit you perfectly. But in this particular case, you have the opportunity to get it made in your size the first time. Mm-hmm. So if you have an alternative shade that's not exactly proportioned to standard sizes, and that's fine. You know, you just provide me with the, with the measurements, mm-hmm. and the dresses are done okay. for those measurements exactly. So people, when ordering, they can just include their specific measurements, and uh, and you'll take care of the rest. Exactly. Yes, that's the way it works. Okay. Um, and how can people, um, uh, you know, buy your 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 clothes? Um, I, I know that you have a shop on Etsy. Is that the only way? Um, online, Etsy is the only way. I'm in several boutiques um, in the United States. None in Malta, where you are. Um, <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> but uh, I do have a stock list of, of boutiques that carry my line. If you go to Jabri Online okay. and just click on Retailers, retailers okay. that tab, it'll have a list of the boutiques and addresses of the stores that carry the line right now. Okay. But uh, no matter where you are, the Etsy store is always, you uh-huh. know, great because the Etsy store has in my entire collection Mm-hmm. And things from past collections, things like that. And people shopping um, on Etsy, the, um, uh, people from everywhere can shop. So you can do you ship worldwide? I ship worldwide. Yes, I do. Okay, perfect. Cool. Um, uh, is there anything in particular that we can look out for from Jibri that's coming up? Well, my fall line will be released in August. Um, And I'm excited about that. I'm also working on a bridal line. So there will be Jabri Bridal coming out in 2011, as well as special special occasion dresses coming out at the end of 2010, Mm -hmm. and possibly a loungewear um, segment that will be 2011. Mm -hmm. Very, very busy. (laughs) 
<laughs> <laughs> Very good. So exciting things coming our way from Jibri. Definitely look forward to seeing um, and, and hearing more of that. Um, if you had to share um, just one style tip with plus size women, what would it be? Fit. I really fit. If your clothes fit you properly, it makes all the difference in the world. Mm-hmm. So just make sure that everything you have fits properly. Uh, even if it's something that you just picked up for, you know, $10, make sure that it's your size. Make sure that you, that if, if you can have it altered to fit you perfectly, just please do so because mm-hmm. it makes all the difference in the world. Yes, indeed. Okay. Um, those were all the questions from my end. I don't know whether you want to share anything in particular with the listeners. Um, we can, I can just repeat the, the website address, which yes, is Jabri Online. Okay. Jabri Online, that's J-I-B-R-I online.com. And the web store is Jabri Online.etsy, that's E-T-S-Y dot com. Okay, perfect. And I'll be sure to include all the links um, in the post and on the site so people can easily um, just click their way to Jibri and see what what you offer. Um, so, Jasmine, thank, thanks a lot for taking the time out. It was a pleasure speaking to you. Um, thanks, Paul. So thanks a lot, um, and I wish you all the best of luck for the future. I'm sure you'll, you've already, you know, um, your collections have, have received rave reviews, and I'm sure you'll um, uh, continue to... F- to receive great success in the future. Thank you so much, Sarah. Thank you. It was a pleasure.